Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are watching another chess classic. This game was played in 1911 between Alexander Aljechin, who was playing with white, and Oscar Tenner, who was playing with black pieces. What is so unique about this game is that Alexander Aljechin played with 100% accuracy. Those games are really rare and Alexander Aljechin is one of the greatest chess players of all time. If you don't know, he was a fourth world chess champion and he dethroned Jose Raul Capablanca. In this game, he gave an absolute amazing checkmate you saw from the thumbnail in just 15 moves. A spectacular game, Black had other options as well, but he refused to give up his queen for the sacrifice and he lost by this spectacular checkmate that will be in history chess books. So without further ado, we'll go straight into the game. Our game started with e4 for Alexander Aljechin and Black replied with e5 and now we have f4, King's Gambit, a really popular opening back in those days. Black decided not to accept this gambit and he plays bishop c5. Our game continued with knight f3 for Aljechin. We have d6 to protect this pawn. Knight c3 for white. We have knight f6 for black, normal developing moves. Bishop c4 for Alexander Aljechin and knight c6 for black. We have d3 for Alexander Aljechin protecting this pawn. And now we have bishop g4 played by black, a really common theme in these sort of openings. The idea is to attack this pinned knight. However, white's idea in this position is to attack this bishop because black hasn't played a6. And this is what happened in the game. Knight a4 was played. White wants to grab black's bishop pair. And our game continued with e picking up on f4. I will now show you a possible continuation that was played in a game between Jan Nepomniashi and Xiong, a grandmaster from China. So we'll go a move back. That game continued with bishop b6. Knight will of course pick up this bishop. We have a picks up on b6. We have a3 for white. d5 for black. e takes on d5. Knight picks up on d5. And we have castle for white. We have castle for black as well. h3 to attack this bishop. Bishop picks up on f3. And queen picks up on f3 as well. We have knight picking up this pawn. Bishop picks this knight. We have e picks up on f4 and queen picks up this pawn and white is already a point up in this position by computer evaluation. So that is one of the ideas for black and that is why a6 is commonly played as well because you want to protect your bishop pair. But of course our game continued after knight a4 with e picks up on f4. After that knight picks up on c5. We have d picks up on c5 and right now Aljechin picks up this pawn on f4. And right now we have a mistake by white, knight h5, to attack this bishop. A better move was castle, because believe it or not, black's king is in danger, although it doesn't seem like that for now. So we have bishop e3 for Alexander Aljechin. And now we came to the critical part of the position. Black makes a huge blunder with knight e5. Although this seems like a completely natural move, whenever you have a pinned piece you want to attack it and that was Black's idea, but unfortunately Aljechin prepared a really nice attack and it goes something like a fried liver attack where you sacrifice your queen. So he does that, knight picking up on e5, a truly brilliant move, sacrificing his queen, we have bishop picking up on d1 and right now white continues with bishop f7 check. In our game king e7 was played. But black had another option here after bishop e7, for example, king f8 was possible. After that, Alexander Aljechin would play bishop picking up on c5 check. Then black would be forced to give up his queen because there is no other free squares for the king. We have d4, we have g6 for black in order to open this space for the black king. We have rook picking up on d1, king g7. We have <coughs> white bishop picking up this queen. We have c picks up on d6. We have a castle for white and right now black will recapture this knight and after d picks up on e5, white is completely winning here because he has three pawns and a completely won endgame. There is nothing black can do. So black is in a lot of trouble whatever he does but after bishop f7 black played king e7. After that Alexander Aljechin continues by picking up this pawn on c5 and giving up a check. Right now king went on f6. Again the only way to continue this game and not get checkmated is to actually play queen d6 and sacrificing your queen. After that we would have 
bishop picking up on d6, c picks up on d6, rook picks up on d1, d picks up on e5, and bishop picking up on h5, and this is a clearly one position for white with a piece up. So again, not looking good for black, but after bishop c5, black decided to play king f6, and right now, after castling and giving check for Alexander Aliakhin, the game is pretty much over, whatever the black does. Black decided to play and pick up this knight. Unfortunately, this leads to a checkmate and a truly beautiful one with rook f5. As you can see, all of the squares are taken and there is nothing black can do. Truly spectacular checkmate given by black. Also, if king went to another square, for example, after instead of king e5 for example after castling and giving check if you go king g5 again bishop e3 is check right now you are forced to go on h4 and after that we play rook f5 our idea is to pick up this knight and attack it and give a checkmate the only way you can stop this is by playing g6 attacking this rook and blocking this diagonal after this we will continue with bishop f2 check the only way to defend this checkmate is to give up your knight and right now white can pick up how he will checkmate you he can pick up with his pawn or he can pick up with his bishop and also give a checkmate so this was all i prepared for you today i truly hope you enjoyed it if you did please make sure to leave a comment like and share this video as this helps me a lot i really appreciate all of your support also, please make sure to leave your comment about this game. Maybe I missed something in the analysis. Maybe there are some other options this position can be played. And also let me know if you had some similar positions in these kind of games. Truly a wonderful game and I really hope you enjoyed it. We will see each other in the next video. I wish you a pleasant day. Bye bye.